am a first generation uh, Chicana. Uh, my parents are from Piedra Las Negras, which is a border town um, close to San Antonio. And I grew up speaking Spanish. I still do at home. Um, and that's, that's pretty much, I have a really strong, strong roots in my heritage and understanding who I am. And so that's just, it's a part of me. In my work, it's, it's kind of subtle. It's not um, very obvious. But there's patterns and um, many uh, narratives that are in, in Mexican American Chicano homes. Um, I use my my mother and father a lot um, to talk about some of the issues that we had when we were growing up. Um, I have this one painting called uh, Under the Colcha, Under the Sheep. I talked about uh, the role that my parents, not the role, but the relationship that they had. And that's something I never questioned growing up. And looking back, the painting is a portrait of my father without a shirt and his, his sombrero on it in his bed. And he does that. He'll lay down on his bed and have his sombrero on. Um, and it's just such a wild image to see all these crazy things in the room. It's cluttered. The colchas like, are like tigers and like... It's just this very like masculine but feminine room, and so I focused in on their bedroom and talked about their relationship and how it's very much it's very masculine, and my mother's very like submissive, and and that's traditional. But the painting, the way I did it, was was untraditional. So it's it's still taking from the traditional Chicano it, it, experience, but it's just changing it in a bit. So I talk about those same things. You know? Um, mainly family relationships, because that's what, that's what I know best. I don't know anything else but my family and living with them and, and, and how they, how we interact with each other. San Antonio has a very rich uh, Latino Chicano art scene, um, and I've heard that from all kinds of different people. Um, and it's, it's a really great community because we get so much support. Um, but at the same time, you know, a lot of the work that comes out of San Antonio looks a certain way. It's like it's very Chicano, very heavy traditional Chicano, but um, a lot of people are starting now to push it into a different, a different place. And so that we're one of those, those artists, those group of artists that are trying to do something. Uh, we're a group of friends. We all worked and volunteered for the same organization, which is San Antonio Cultural Arts, and um, we all are artists, but it seemed that we had um, issues with getting our, like, our work out there. And so there were different motivations. We had a, kind of a lack of, of space or representation of, chi of Chicana artwork, young Chicana artwork that was in San Antonio being exhibited. So we're like, we want to exhibit our work. And then the the next motivation was that we wanted to make work that talked about issues that we cared about, um, community issues. Like for instance, um, one of the issues, one of the things that we talked about was the quinceanera. That was our first exhibition. It was an installation based on um, coming coming to what is that? Coming to yeah. coming of age, um, a young woman coming of age on what that means, and so we talked about what that means for a Chicana to be coming of age, and there's so many, it's so complex, um, and so we we talked about the good and the bad, um, and we also talked about stray animals in a different exhibition, and and our shows were always engaged community, and that's one of the things we wanted to see in in exhibits that we were going to, you know, when you go to an exhibit, you would see just artwork hung on the wall, and you're like, okay, well, how am I supposed to relate to this? Uh, there was no connection. So we wanted to create a space where women, uh, women of color, Chicanos, were making artwork, significant artwork that meant something, um, and they were giving a space and a voice 
This pregnancy has been on my to-do list for a long time. Um, I first saw, uh, I think, Alex Rubio and Cruz Ortiz do the residency, and there it was like one of the, like, oh, well, you have to do the San Corona City residency if you're a Chicano. And so I was like, oh, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So I, when I got ready, um, when I was ready as far as like portfolio wise, I was like, all right, I'll submit, I feel comfortable that I could probably get accepted, so that's how I did it. I had taken screen printing before, but it wasn't as um, intricate as this time. It was a lot of process, and I think color theory, like I didn't understand like the layering of the colors and how that would play into my print. Um, it just like, takes a lot of patience, and it's really fun. I like it. Like to offer a residency where someone can like spend a week and not do anything and just focus on your work um, is very rare. Um, and that is offered for free because I've looked at other residencies, some of them you have to pay all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's, it's Latino focused, so it's, it's focused on documenting Latino, Latino work. Um, so that I think. The work goes far. I think Sam was talking about the work of traveling, so that's going to do really great for any artist that comes through here because you get exposed. It's a lot of exposure. Um, the print is called um, Baby Daddy, and the Baby Daddy is actually my brother. Uh, he's younger than me, and he got a teenage girl pregnant, which is um, and they had my niece. Um, and so what you see in the photo is uh, an image of my brother holding. Um, Javine, she's my niece, and the baby mama in the background with a broken heart. Um, and originally the, the print was, it said, spring love, come back to me, and it was inspired by a freestyle song um, about broken hearts. And, but it's, it's a serious broken heart, broken family, broken heart. So that's what that print was about. Mm -hmm. A lot of San Antonio artists um, and a lot of American artists. Um, Carrie James Marshall is a painter who I, I love. Um, the feminist movement, the Chicano movement, um, and it just goes on and on. So, yeah. I want to see myself do more public art on my own. Um, I just work for an organization where I um, produce public art with other artists, and I want to do it on my own. Um, and we'll see how that goes. And then the other one is with Matsuda, which is a Chicana art collective that I'm in. And the next uh, exhibition that we have is at Art Pace San Antonio. Um, and so that's it. Art Pace is exciting, so that's the next thing. <laughs>